Guys, take a look at that. That's a big mark right there around my back bait. That's on a big skipjack head and it's just kind of circling around it there. We may be about to get this video started if he takes off with that thing, man. He wants it. He's just up there just kind of investigating it right now. He's just been swimming circles around it. I would assume that's a cat. Again, that's a big skipjack head. It's fresh, caught today. This over here is a school of shad that I have set up on. I've just spot locked. I come up on these shad, spot locked, because I knew there'd be some fish around. I had one investigating my baits. He seems to have swam off. Looks like a bigger mark right there going through that school of shad. They're up there chasing. Never know what you're going to see out here, folks. But today, kind of more of the same of what you've seen in my regular videos here for my, my audience that have stuck with me through the winter months anyway. I'm in a creek channel today. This is actually the second creek channel that I have been to today. I started out in a different creek went through it didn't see any birds i didn't see any shad flipping i didn't see anything on the graph so i was like well i'm not even going to bother dropping a bait here let me just go upstream hit the next creek so i've come in here immediately saw some birds and i saw some stuff on the graph here i saw some big schools of shad and i thought well the lately the best bite i have been on is in, in creeks with with the bait around and so i saw them shad spot lock dropped my baits right down i got four pieces of cut bait just off the bottom right now and clearly i've got some attention of the fish that one had come up on just been just doing laps around that bait just investigate never touched it just oh this one touched it by gosh this one touched it. he's hooked up he's hooked up that's good timing fish well listen here come along right in the middle of the intro didn't he perfect timing so y'all my my baits today got skipjack skipjack herring that's the only bait i got with me the fresh caught them this morning before i come out here on the right side of my kayak over here i have midsection small chunks that's what i've been doing the best on lately just very small slivers of bait on the other side of my kayak, I have head pieces. I've got one smaller skipjack head on, and then I got one pretty good size skipjack today. It's a larger bait, and so I put the head of it on along with some of the meat. So it's a you know it's a hand sized bait down there. And I've been on the water about a half hour now. I got set up here. I had my baits in about 1:30. Got on the water earlier than that, but I went to that other creek first and, you know, again, just didn't see anything happening. And so made a move and come up here and, and got rewarded here right away with a fun size blue. That's not a bad fish to start this trip off with. Heck yeah, man, I'll take that. Nice fish. All right, well, let's land this thing. Okay, y'all, let's bring him in. Let's bring that old devil in right there. Interrupted our intro. I was trying to explain what's going on. He snuck over there and got that bait, didn't he? You know, this might have been the one. It's a female fish here. This right here, if I can get this dang hook out, if it opened its mouth up, we'd not have it out. There we go. Nice, buddy. Nice fish. Well, there it is, or there she is. I think this is a female from looking at the size of the mouth on it. But, you know, I was filming that fish on the live scope there, circling around that head bait. Never touched it. I was kind of, you know, flip the camera around, doing a little intro, and then that rod goes off. Makes me wonder if it wasn't that same fish. You know, it, it was over here at my other bait. It may have just kind of been making, making a lapse around here at these baits, figuring out which one it wanted. And it took the smallest bait. That small bait, man. Water temps have held. It's 53 degrees out here, water temps today. We've had some really warm weather the last few days. We've had some rain. Our water temps are hanging in there, man. And these fish, you know, normally this time of year, water temps are much colder, which I would expect them to be eating smaller baits. Uh, but now it's, you know, really warm for this time of year. Anyway, enough of me talking. Here's this one. Let's let it go. 
she gone. Let's get another bait on. All right, let's cut us another sliver of that skipjack. Again, that fish there ate a small chunk about that size. You can see there for reference on my hand, just a small sliver. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that gut pocket out too, just make it even, even smaller. So you're looking at about a quarter size chunk, maybe slightly bigger than that right there. And these skipjack today, I had one good size one and most of these skipjack in here, they're about this size. They're smaller today, that's all I got. So I got enough for a day's fishing maybe two in there depending on how the bite is today so we're gonna make it work but uh, anyway i'm gonna get this bait here on the hook drop it down raise it up a couple feet off the bottom right now i'm setting 39.5 feet so my baits are going to be down there about 36 37 feet deep i'm gonna drop this bait down here y'all but while i'm doing let me show you this look at that that on my reel there see all that mud come up here look at that out mud all over that thing that's reason number 467 why you don't take a bass fisherman catfishing with you i look at it. i mean i got mud all over this thing red clay mud i went out the other day and did some uh fishing there with pro moderator eric thomason buddy of mine he's a bass fisherman but we went catfishing did some uh fishing off the bank the other day he caught a pretty nice blue cat what well, i call fun size uh, about like that one there just got and you know he's all excited don't know what to do with the rod next thing you know the rod and the reel is on the on the ground on that red clay mud i got red clay mud all over my car now dang bass fishermen can't take them anywhere <laughs> right here on that back bait again i think that's actually two fish that's circling around it We'll see if they want to hook up with that bait or maybe they want to take one of the others out here. He's just swimming around. It's, it's definitely got that fish's attention, both of them. Now he's going up here. He's going toward my front bait. I've got that live scope pointed toward this front bait, this one over here. But it's also picking up my left side of the kayak uh, rear bait which is that one. He's up here by that bait, by that front rod. As you can see, it looks like they'll just do circles around that bait, just investigating it. We'll see if one of these rods goes down here in a minute. There's some fish in the area. There's some bait in the area. We got all the ingredients here that we need to have a good day. Let's hope they cooperate. This front rod. Oh boy, it's swimming, man. That rod's swimming. Oh man. Boy, he's a pulling now. He's a pulling. Let's reel us in another one. As it starts to rain a little bit. <laughs> Can't have it all, folks. If it's if it's warm, it's either raining or the wind's cranking. That's how it's been lately. We had some warm weather here the last week, but it's rained and High winds most every day. Today's been a, a good day. This one here ate one of the headpieces. There is a little bit of rain in the area today. The wind's fine. But I thought I'm gonna get out here and chance it today. I wanna see if I can catch me some fish. And this is number two that's committed. I've had several that's looked at baits on the screen so far. I've seen them there on the live scope, but only two that have hooked up this one here ain't as big as his friend that come by earlier let me get that hook i mean that thing was in there good he wasn't coming free was he just old dink blue cat but he'll get big someday and he was kind enough to leave us that bait there on the hook and that's still you can see there it's still in good shape so after I put it right in my daggone finger. Look at that, man. Apparently I wanted to catch myself. I was going to say I was going to drop it right back down, but my thumb said not so fast. There we go. Had him line. Boy, I'm a mess, y'all. Putting that hook in my thumb. Got the line wrapped around the raw. We'll get back in business here in a second. Well, again, I'm just, I'm just hanging out here right around this school 
I'm gonna try to show you here on the screen. They're right here at the corner. Let me expand my range out a little bit. You can see, I expand my range on out. You can see that school of shad. They're just kind of in this area near bottom. And that's kind of how it's been um, recently. The bait, the bigger schools of bait that I have found have been near bottom and they've been deep. And so um, I generally like that, you know, it's, it's, if you got a bunch of bait right near on the bottom as these catfish work into these creeks to feed, they're coming for these big schools of shad. And if you've got baits around them, you're probably going to get bit. And so as long as that school of shad and, and these other schools I see, you know, there they are coming into screen a little better. Just a big school, you know, as long as they're kind of in this area on bottom, I'm not moving today. I'm gonna stay spot locked right here and just let these fish come to me. Oh, that head, that big head got eat, man. Oh man, oh man, it's pulling, it's pulling. Oh man, boy, oh, he's a pulling, buddy. He's still pulling drag. Goodness gracious, I can't get that thing right, right over, man. There we go. Boy, he nailed that thing, buddy. Nailed that thing, that big head just got eat y'all. He freaking nailed it. He was pulling some drag. I couldn't get that rod out. That's exciting when it's like that, man. I've went a long stretch here with nothing going on, y'all. Just an occasional tap. But that bait's still around me. I say I ain't moving. I'm gonna stay right here. Right here in the in the shad buffet down there. This thing here just crushed it, man, on that big head. I switched out all my other baits a little while ago. But this is the only big head piece I've got, so I left it on. I want one big bait down there at least, you know. Even though my better fish have been coming on small baits lately, I still want a big profile bait down there. You never know. It's, it's always good to have a variety different sizes, different cuts. I think that's a, I think that's a big blue. That's a huge blue. That's a huge blue cat right there, guys. That's a huge blue cat. He nailed it, man. He nailed it. Oh man, he's taking off now. He's taking off now. I'm gonna play him out a little bit here before I try bringing him in. Look at that, man. That's a huge blue. Oh, <laughs> that's a huge blue. Right place, right time. That's what I'm doing today, guys. Just putting the time in. Put the time in. Getting rewarded. That is a nice blue cat right there. You can see what he eats, that big head, man. If I get it back, if he don't throw it off before he's done thrashing around, I can land him. That big head's going to go back down, too. I've caught so many good fish on them headpieces. If I could only fish one bait the rest of my life, a big skipjack head would be it. I'm going to get him back up here. But he still ain't done, man. He's wound up. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish right there, y'all. All right, guys, I think it's ready here, man. He got him a mouthful of that skipjack, didn't he? Yeah, he got a mouthful of that bait. Let's bring him in. Oh, man, that's a nice fish. Boy, I like catching them like that. There ain't a more fun way to do it than just have them just destroy a bait right under the kayak and double that rod over man i couldn't hardly get that dang rod out of the rod holder he was pulling so hard skip jack head it's about to go back down here in a minute too okay here we go oh <laughs> nice man nice blue cat buddy i'm happy about that <laughs> Just putting the time in, you know? Just putting the time in, that's all I can do. I know these food here. Had to look a little while today to find their food. Went into that other creek, you know, didn't see anything. Nothing going on. Come in here, immediately mark the bait, set up on them. This here, this fish here come to get him a bite. <laughs> 
man, that's a solid fish any day, any time. All right, let's send it home. It's gonna go down there and get even bigger. Blue Cat, you were a lot of fun. Let's do it again someday. How you going? <laughs> that was fun, y'all. Well, let's fix this bait back here and see if we can catch another one on it. I'd like to switch it out for another big skipjack head, but you know, when you only got one, you make do with what you got. So I'm just gonna rehook him here. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a knife and cut off some of this, uh, you know, body section here off the end of it, just kind of get it bleeding a little bit. I mean, it's, it's kind of blanched out there. You can see a little bit of blood, but it's kind of blanched out overall. And so I'm gonna cut it about right here and see if we can't get a little bit more, a little bit more of that scent trail, a little bit more blood oozing out of there, help our calls a little bit. Oh, y'all, yeah. I'll just cut this bait. I got something going on that front rod up there. He's swimming with it. So you can see there, I got that bait bleeding again. We kind of got it going again, but this one here, he's swimming. I'm just gonna pick up real down on him. There we go. I see him on the screen right there. I see him coming up right there. <laughs> this one here ain't gonna be as big. He ain't gonna be as big as his friend. That's okay. They can't all be monsters, y'all. Not all of them. Fish this size right here make you appreciate them monsters, though. I appreciate all of them big fish. I got one. There goes that one. There goes that one. Let's set this one back a second. I'll pick up on this one. Yeah, man. <laughs> we got some active fish working through here. We got that big one. No, he just come free. This one here just come free. All right, let me drop it down real quick. I'm gonna drop that other big head piece down now that I got it cut. I'm gonna drop it back down, then I'll land that smaller fish so we can maximize our baits down here in the water. We just got active fish working through this area all of a sudden. Let's get back over here. Again, I think I showed this bait off. Again, I just took a chunk of this thing, sliced it, and now you can see it's, it's bleeding on in there. I'd left a big hunk of that meat on just to have a big profile bait. And not all of that blood and scent's gonna ooze out of there. You know, it's gonna be a slow release, especially in this, you know, water that's, you know, low 50s here. And no current here where I'm at either. Hot water and current will wash your baits out. It'll bleed out quicker. These winter months like this, no current like I'm experiencing today, these baits will last a while, especially if you just cut them again like I did that one. All right. Now let's land this old thing here and get him going. Come here, blue kitty. Get you five minutes of fame here on the on the YouTube. You got people here that's wanting to see you. He ate the smaller headpiece. Kind of been a heads and midsections, kind of been you know, no real preference showing between the two, but that big one did choose the head. Head pieces of whatever bait, whether it's skipjack or shad or bluegill or crappie, whatever I'm using. These head baits, they just, for big fish, they just outperform any other cut. I'm gonna send that one back down. I just switched it out not long ago. It still looks good. Drop it down. Get ready for the next one. Could be some more coming through any second. He come up there by it. Let's see if he'll come back for it. He's right by that front right bait. Go ahead and eat that thing, buddy. Don't worry about that hook in it. He's after it. He got it. Let's get the camera back in the chest here and reel him in. Oh, he's headed backwards now, ain't he? <laughs> he thought he was gonna go get under the kayak and get away. Joke's on him, that bait had a hook in it. He got in that back line though, look at that, doggone him. 
He said, joke ain't on me, Justin, joke's on you. You're gonna be dealing with a tangle in a minute. Well, what that fish don't know is that I deal with tangles on the regular. I am a line untangling expert. It's one of my better skills. I'm not good at many things in life, but I am pretty good at getting tangles undone. I've had a lot of practice fishing in the kayak all these years. Let me get this thing unhooked here. Got to oil my pliers again here, I reckon. There we go. You old ornery devil. That bait had a hook in it. You'll learn next time, won't you? You better inspect them baits a little more. All right. Let me get this untangling done here. I threw the bait off too. Doggone. I was going to get that bait back. It may have been me that knocked it off there. Well, that's all right. Small fish on a small bait. I'm going to put another small bait on and we'll catch another. All right, y'all, I'm going to wrap it up. I think this is a pretty good send off for 2021. I know you all are seeing this after the new year, but I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. So this is my final fishing trip of 2021. And it's uh, been a pretty good one. Started out with a fun sizer, got that nice blue there uh, as well. So it's been a, a good trip for me and a, and a great year overall. And I just want to say thank you to all of you out there who have watched my videos this year and sat through those dang advertisements and all my Catfish Club members, people who support me on a monthly basis financially, all of you who have given the super chats and super thanks during the live streams, everybody who's bought the hats and the t-shirts and the merchandise, thank you. You know, this has been a, a dream come true for me this year to be able to just go fishing and film myself and be able to do this for a job do this you know to sustain my livelihood it's been a it's just been an incredible blessing i'm so thankful the 2021 with with the exception of my dog dying this year 2021 is going to be one of the best years of my life and it's because all of you all who have made this happen so uh, 2022 is coming up i think it's going to be a great year for me i hope it's a great year for all of you all and we're starting it off here. This is going to be my first video in 2022 from today's trip. So we're starting off with a bang. And I hope there's a whole lot more coming with this one. So I'll see you again soon, guys. Thanks so much.